Well, what's really different about this series as opposed to any other series is the cars are all equal, right? And it comes down to how good our crew chief is able to prepare the cars for each individual track. But the cars are all prepared equally. When you look at other series, there's different competition adjustments made to, uh, to account for the fact that all of the cars are not equal. When you look at this series, you really know that the person who wins the championship was the best driver. We may have the only series in a nation where there is such tight control over the cars and the, the level of um, competition from a mechanical standpoint is regulated very tightly. So there's never a wondering, geez, you know, maybe I should have built a, a Ford or I should have built a, a, a BMW or, or seven. You, you just, you know, when you get into an MX-5 Cup car, you've got the right car. It's very much a, a driver town series. It gives you something to measure yourself against. You're never wondering if your performance is due to your driving or versus having the wrong brand of car um, that you would have uh, you know, due to the governing of, of the sanctioning body of another series like Grand Am or, or, or World Challenge or anything else. I mean, these are, those are all great racing series, but you never have the true measure of yourself against your competitors like you do uh, in the series. It makes the racing really, really tight and exciting. You know, lots of passing, lots of lead changes, a little bit of rubbing, and, uh, you know, here and there. But uh, overall, it's just really, uh, you know, intense. They're 45-minute races, and you're just going flat out for 45 minutes. I mean, there's no, you know, I'll just wait a couple laps and see. Like, if you make one mistake, you're done. It's you have to be mistake-free 45 minutes. It's a really good proving ground for for amateur or you know people who are just going professional and veterans alike. You can learn a lot from these cars. It's like the next step up to the pro level. It's sort of on on an affordable budget. It's a great series. It's reasonable to you know someone like me who has no sponsor. I just work two jobs to come to each race. It's feasible for an individual person who doesn't really have you know someone to put their name on your car. The ladder program is a phenomenal opportunity for guys like me that are passionate about motorsports but are limited on funding and participate in the amateur level. It's a ladder that allows guys like myself to make it to the next level. Well, the most exciting part about the MX-5 series is the, uh, the, the potential to win the season championship and be on the Mazda Motorsports ladder, the Mazda Speed ladder. Uh, the, the series champion wins the opportunity to race in a next level championship in a Mazda uh, vehicle. It's a fantastic place to showcase your abilities. You know, as a young driver, you should look for areas where the competition is tough, uh, where the equipment is equal. Those are places that you can really rise above. And with Mazda's ladder and the support that they give the series, I really wouldn't look elsewhere if you want to move up in sports car racing. You've got all of the major North American road racing series uh, here racing in conjunction with. You've got the Daytona prototypes and Grand Am guys here. We race in conjunction with the American Le Mans series at a couple of dates as well. So for drivers looking to move up the ladder, you've got tremendous visibility to team owners uh, uh, really all across North American uh, road racing. Very, very talented drivers and going head to head and having clean, really aggressive, really fast racing. It's what you live for as a racer. It's not about your car. It's not about whether it's a Mazda track or not. It's just all about you know the car and the driver. You get to come out here and race with some really good drivers and learn a lot. And if you want to be the best, you got to run with the best. I'm around a bunch of guys who only want to win. It's all the same, so it's pretty much all in your hands. Make your own destiny.